it's Melissa from designsbylittlebee.com and I just wanted to do a quick video showing you what I love about fast frames. Fast frames are these metal squares that you buy when you get your multi-needle, well you can buy them, and what they do is your machine comes like this and it's got hoops just like a single needle that click in or you can use your fast frames. So what you do is you take the arm and you fit it in here and this is like the base. You need this to use any of the small squares. So you snap that in like so. It's got a screw and two little knobs at the back. You take your square of choice. I'm going to use this I call it D. I have A, B, C, D, E, F. Uh, I labeled mine by size. You fit it onto the arm and screw it in place to tighten it. Now, when I'm making a snap tab, let me show you how easy this is. You wouldn't believe it. I snip out a piece of stabilizer, put it on my fast frame, I use binder clips for snap tabs since uh, for clothing I use my small clover clips because I'm always afraid of these mashing a hole in clothing but on just stabilizer on a fast frame with a snap tab it, it doesn't matter because it never touches the fabric. I clip my stabilizer around the frame and I'm going to run step one of this particular snap tab. Then I take the fabric I'm going to use, in this case it's like a brown, I uh, got this from My Cry World, this is like a brown vinyl, it's, I mean it's kind of like leatherish feeling, I really like it. And I fit it over the stitches, my placement stitches, and I just start clipping around the edges. I just want to show you guys how quick this is. I start clipping around the edges. Um, up here on the top, it's not really going to be able to be clipped, so I'm going to make sure I'm out of the stitch path and I'm just going to do a nice pin. So I've got four clips holding that leather down, or that faux leather. And now I'm going to move on to the next portion of my snap tab, which is the, uh, the wording. And that's going to just stitch out. Just it's, it's like it's levitating there on your fast frame. It's really awesome. You see how my faux leather is just pin clipped to the fast frame. It's not... Fancy, just click to it. Now I'll come back and show you the last step when it finishes this step. Now that that step is done, I'm just going to remove this clip. I've got a piece of like a pleather, like a black pleather-ish kind of vinyl-ish fabric. I'm going to use that for the back of my snap tab. What I'm going to do is lift up the front and I'm going to slide this backing piece with the right side down because that's going to be the back under my frame. I could remove it to see and make sure I'm covering the placement stitches. I've done so many of these I just kind of feel for the stitches underneath. And then I'm just going to take my pin and my clips and I'm going to kind of re-pin and re-clip my the backing onto the snap tab because this takes you know uh, 30 seconds maybe less maybe 15 seconds so you just need that stuff to stay on there just long enough for the machine to grab it and then just hit go and it will do that last step it's a bean stitch, 
to seal that front and back together to make sure it looks nice and finished. Now the next step in my designs is a guide for the circles, but I'm not going to run that. I was just showing you, that's how easy it is to whip out a, uh, a snap tab on your fast frames. Then you just remove all your clips. You can cut or just tear away your stabilizer from the hoop. And, hello, this never takes this long. And there you go. There's your finished snap tab. That's the front. And that's the back. And then you'll just cut around the edges of it. And that's how fast it was on a fast frame. That's how I'm able to test so many so fast. You just wrap your stabilizer around, clip it, and you're good to go. Next, I'm going to show you how I used fast frames to embroider these cosmetic bags that everybody's doing. Last but not least today, this is one great way that I love to use my fast frames. This is one time when they really come in handy. When I'm doing these cosmetic bags like everybody has been doing on Etsy. They're like a polyester kind of uh, microfiber, really easy to wipe clean, great quality cosmetic bags. These are so, 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 so easy to do thanks to my fast frames. I'm using the one that's next to biggest. I call it E, my E frame. I call them A, B, C, D, E, F, the six that came in my original package. Here's what I do. I open it and I have the zipper pull to the left. I have my design all loaded up. I place my cosmetic bag on my fast frame and look at this. Look how it fits on that that on this frame. This one is about seven and a quarter inches wide and that's almost exactly how wide your cosmetic bag is. And so, I mean, it just molds right around the edge. And so I grab a few of my clips. Sometimes I use binder clips. Sometimes I use these Wonder Clips uh, by Clover Wonder Clips. I got them, I think, on Amazon. But these are so, I mean, look at that. That's it. That's all your machine needs, just a few clips. And then just to make sure... Um, that I don't get any of the zipper stuck anywhere in my needle or in my threader because I've done that before. I've broken my needle threader. Um, I take the top where it's like got a lip right here because it's folded over and I pull it back and I take one of my wonder clips off to the side away from my needle threader and I clip that top lip down just so that doesn't get in the way of your um, Whatever the thingy's called that comes up and pulls your thread back. <laughs> you know, I need to take a class in parts of your multi <laughs> Um, So there. So now I can choose my color. I can watch. Another reason I love this is these are quatrefoil. And so, so I can start choosing the location of my monogram. And then when I'm ready to go, I just hit sew and I go for it. And this just, the way it lines up, oh, it's amazing. So that's another way I love to use my fast frames.